Well, condemnation of Iran's missile tests is coming in from many corners. A White House spokesman calls the exercises provocative. He also says they justify the Obama administration's shift in focus from Iran's potential to develop intercontinental ballistic missiles to the threat from its current medium-range arsenal. Well, in France, the foreign ministry urged Iran to, quote, choose cooperation rather than confrontation and immediately end its profoundly destabilizing activities. The European Union's foreign policy chief calls the tests a concern. Javier Solana also says Iran must immediately resolve issues surrounding that newly disclosed uranium enrichment facility. Russia which is helping Iran build its first nuclear power plant, is asking everyone to cool off. The Interfax news agency quotes the foreign minister as saying, and I quote, we should not give way to emotions now. He says the world should instead focus on beginning meaningful negotiations with Iran. Well, some believe these missile tests are an attempt by Iran to strengthen its hand as it heads into these Geneva talks this week. Well, let's find out what one of our very own big thinkers uh, has to say on this. Michael Ellerman is a senior fellow for missile defence at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, and he joins us tonight from there. The nightmare scenario, sir, for the Western world is that Iran perfects long-range interballistic missiles. Is that becoming a reality at this point? No, not really. What Iran has tested uh, today is the medium-range Shahab-3, which they began testing way back in 1998. It's nothing new. Um, but they also conducted the fourth test of the Sejil solid propellant system, which has been in development for the last two years. These systems can't be transformed into ICBMs. The development activities that they'd have to undertake would take about five to ten years. Mm. So they're a long way from uh, building so something Washington, to threaten the continental United States. When Washington says this is provocative and Iran says it's all just routine, uh, you know, who, who should we believe at this point? Well, it is provocative in the sense that the, the timing um, is somewhat unfortunate uh, for both sides. But uh, Iran typically tests their missiles in military exercises about twice a year, the last time being uh, in May of this year. So the timing may have been coincidental, but it certainly isn't helpful. And the Americans certainly seeing uh, these tests as providing new leverage for further UN sanctions, which of course brings us uh, tidily to the uh, Geneva talks this week. Do these tests strengthen Tehran's hand, given that it'll make it more difficult uh, to persuade them to abandon enrichment, or do they actually strengthen the US and, and the West's hand at this point? Well, I think it is a provocative um, action taken by Iran, and it will help galvanize some of the allies, uh, the mm -hmm. Russians and, and the Chinese, in imposing sanctions on Iran if they don't come to the table and negotiate uh, seriously with uh, the, the P5 plus mm -hmm. one. So um, I, I don't see where this is really helping Iran other than making a claim for themselves uh, that they're strong. All right, well, let's talk about these uh, P5 plus one talks, as they're known. Um, what should we expect to get out of these talks on Thursday? Well, I think, first off, the Iranians are going to have to fess up to this facility that they did declare to the IAEA um, earlier uh, last week. Uh, however, they're going to have to get into more detailed discussion, and I would like to see the um, additional protocols for the IAEA mm. uh, ratified by mm. the, the, um, uh, the Iranians, but also providing access to the scientists and, and engineers working in the nuclear program so that we can get a greater transparency. Have we heard anything, though, that suggests that that's what's going to happen on Thursday, that we get more access, more transparency by the Iranians, and indeed any more uh, support for UN sanctions by Russia and China at this point? Well, I don't know about China. Um, they, they have not been uh, entirely enthusiastic about implementing any kind of sanctions. And the Russians seem to be making hints that maybe they're going to move further in, in the direction of sanctions, but they haven't made any commitments. Um, but the Iranians did last week, before the, uh, the revelation that they had actually sent a letter to the IAEA announcing the second site near Qom, uh, had made mention that they might provide access to the uh, scientists, um, which would enable us to establish some greater transparency. Uh, Michael, briefly, are we safe tonight in the West? In the West, we are safe. Um, 
Those in Israel may feel a little less safe, but uh, Iran may be able to attack them with uh, conventionally armed uh, missiles, but a limited number, and it would be more of a terrorist type of attack than, than anything strategic. Mike.